A step back in time. The American League Classics and the Classics from the National League. Coming at you on 2K Sports. A matchup of classics. The National League Classic team, they will be at home to take on the American League Classic team. Happy to be with you, our broadcast of 2K Sports Major League Baseball. Starting the game, Fergie Jenkins. Steve will be watching how he approaches this classic American League lineup. Well, it's a phenomenal lineup right here. That's why this outstanding right-hander is going to have to be on top of his game to be able to neutralize some of their big bats and get the outs he needs. He has to work ahead on the count or they'll make him pay. Now here's the starting lineup for this ball game. With a classic lineup like this, Gary, it's hard to identify one major threat. There's nine threats in this lineup. And it's Phil Rizzuto up. He's leadoff man in our game here in the 2K Sports Network as we get set for baseball. Here it comes. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And the catch by Smith. Now let's take uh, time for a quick look at how the National League Classics will be taking the field on defense. Well, this is some kind of classic team right here for the National League. I mean, you've got some of the best defenders of all time. And here's Robin Young. Just off the outside, and it's 1-0. Well, he missed with the first pitch, so I'm betting he's going to come back with the fastball right here, as he's done in the past. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. Two away. And it's LK line in the box. Really lets it rip on that one, but starts off with a strike. That's a huge swing right there. He was looking for a fastball, but just couldn't quite catch up to it. Great pitch. Strike Waves two. at that fastball in the hole now, 0-2. Oh, fastball swung on and missed, side retired. And a good defensive half inning, three up, three down. We'll go to the bottom of the first. Bob Lemon's going to be pitching. He's starting the game for the American League Classics. As he gets into this classic National League lineup, Steve, what's his strategy? Uh, pitching's the key to win any ball game, and with their quality right-hander on the mound today, that's going to be a key as well against this outstanding lineup. He's going to have to execute his pitches to get the outs. Swung on, lined over the first baseman's head. All the way to the wall. And at second base, he's tagged out. All right, let's take a look at the lineup for the home team here in the bottom half of the inning. Uh, Gary, you take a look at this National League lineup. I mean, every one of these guys is a legend. They can all swing the bat and impact the game in their own special way. Now we'll take a quick look at the classics from the American League and how they'll be taking the field defensively. Well, Gary, take a look at the defense of the American League Classic team here. And, boy, you talk about some guys who can swing the bat. Well, this team can flash some leather as well. They can pick it. On the way. Liner towards the hole. Ooh, that one hit off the heel of his glove. So they can't make the play. And Willie McCovey up. He deals. Hard grounded a short. And he throws in time for the force at second. Great out. Nice diving stop to get that force at second base. Well, pretty darn good play right there. Track it down, then pivot and get the force. And Eddie Matthews up. Swung on, hit in the air to right center. And it's in there, base hit. Runner around second. He's heading for third. That's textbook base running right there. As he's approaching second base, he picks up the third base coach, gets the sign to keep on coming, and now they've got runners at the corner. And Johnny Bench up. And it's fouled away. Oh! 
Swung on. That's going to be hit foul. Long fly ball left side. A swing line to left center. And that's the third out. That'll do it. No runs and a couple of hits and two left on. First inning is over. And we've got clouds overhead. Lots of them. Sort of regulating our temperature. We've got a little cloud blanket going on here. And it's Reggie Jackson oh. at the plate. Fastball just misses. 1-0. One zero on the way. One zero pitches a slider, swung on and missed. One and one. Here he's unusually aggressive when the count goes to one and one, figuring he's going to try to get that pitch over the plate, and I'm going to swing. Foul. Hit foul by Jackson. The one two pitch popped him up, shallow left field. One away. Well, this one, he skies this one way up in the air, but you know what? It doesn't matter how high you hit him. You have to hit him far. He didn't hit it very far. Easy out for the third baseman. Narman Killebrew in the box now. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Ball. That's upstairs for a ball. 1 and 1. The 1-1. One, one. Call fastball. Now the count one and two. That fastball just froze him on the inside corner. Now we're going to see where he goes. Look for something soft possibly away. Fastball just about had him, and it's a 2-2 two -two count. Well, he tried to go outside on the outside corner with that fastball right there. Just got a little bit off the plate. He's got to be careful, though. You don't want that hitter to get his arms extended. Oh. Line drive left of the bag and foul. Two two pitch, and he fouls another one off. Well, he's doing everything he can to stay alive on this two two count. A nice defensive swing. Make sure he just got enough of the bat on it. Hits it foul. Now let's see where it goes from here. A swing and a fly ball to left center field. Play is made. And Yogi Berra in the box. This one hit, and a long foul ball down the left side. Foul. And he fouls off another one. You're Fastball out. swung on and missed, and the side's retired. Not a lot of action in this half inning. Nothing on. Time now to move to the bottom half of the second. Afternoon at the ballpark. Pleasant, cool day here. And Ralph Kiner to bat. Hit sharply towards the hole. In time for the up. Stargell into the batter's box. There's a swing and a drive. Deep right field. Jackson. As he retreats back for it and gets the out. Well, they followed the advanced scouting reports to a T. They played the outfielders back that time, and he hit it right into the teeth of the defense. And Ozzie Smith in. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. And Smith's got himself a single. Well, you're going to have to keep a close eye on this guy in first base. Pay a lot of attention to him because you know he more than likely has the green light. He can go at any time. And Fergie Jenkins up. Well, he's running, taking off for a second. And his throw, he is out. Great throw. And if you just joined our broadcast, great time to be on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Crook. Brooks Robinson to bat. 
One down. Look, Gary, he's pitching well right now. I mean, that's seven straight that he's retired. He is really locked in. And it's Bobby Doerr now. Right. Fastball in there, 0 and 1. Better to go after the fastball when the guy has quality secondary pitches. Even though it's down to the zone, you've got to swing at that. 0 1 is a slider for a call strike. Good slider that time. Ruled the ball. One and two. Well, if you're going to miss, this is where you want to miss. Throw that breaking ball at the bottom of the strike zone. If the hitter swings and puts it in play, it's a ground ball out. Now here's a slow roller to third. Throw to first. Gets him in there at two down. Well, he stayed with that ground ball. Tough play. Able to just chuck it over there after he grabs it. He's out. And here's Bob Lemon. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider, swung on and missed, 0 and 2. Here's the pitch. Swings and grounds this one to the right side, foul. And Bench calls for the pitch. Fastball swung on and missed. Side retired. No scoring here. Ending this half inning. And Fergie Jenkins up. He'll start things off for the home team. We're in the third. Taps this one foul to the right. And here's a swing and a miss, and he falls behind 0-2. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. One away. And Lou Brock in the box. He singled in his last at bat. And starts him out here. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Hit in the air to left center. The catch. And he has it for the second out. He had the outfield swung around to the right that time. He had a long way to go to run that one down. Morgan at the plate. Foul ball. It's fouled away. He delivers. Swings, hits this one in the air down the right field line. That one's grabbed. Side retired. No hits, nobody left on. And it's Phil Rizzuto up. Lined out last time up. Here's the first pitch. That's a foul ball. Foul. Here's the delivery. He lets that fastball go by for a called strike going to. Now, Gary, they're going through the lineup the second time around right here. They don't have any hits, so they've really got to start thinking about what are they doing at the plate and should they be more aggressive right now? Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. And uh, look now at the pitch type distribution. One of the hallmarks of being effective is mixing up your pitches. you got to love the screwball guys, right? It can be a very useful pitch, but I'd say he's going to it a little bit more than what he should. The hitters are starting to get dialed into it. You want your pitcher to kind of change it up to have a balanced approach that the hitter can't think along with them. What I don't understand is why is he not using his best pitch, which is the four-seam fastball, to keep the hitters honest. It gives him velocity and great command when he uses it. And the uh, first pitch was a strike. Got about 0-1 right now. Contact. That one high in the air, but that's going to be foul wow. down the right side. Oh. 
on the ground to third. Matthews on to first. That's out number two. Let's go to the video replay. This is a close play at first base. That's going to be real close. He lunges for the bag, but it beats him. He's out. You just don't lunge. You don't gain any ground that way. And it's LK line in the box. And here's the first one. Up the middle it goes. Oh, Smith lays out, back up. Throw, got him. That is one heck of a play. Perfect through four, and he is dealing. Well, he's done everything you want out of a starting pitcher. He set the tone early and keeps it going. And Willie McCovey up. He'll lead it off here, bottom half of the fourth. Lined right at the second baseman. And he cannot come up with it. But he recovers in time, makes the play. Good work. That's some kind of play right there to be able to get to the ball quickly, transfer it through your throwing hand, and rifle it over to first base to get the runner. Nice play. And Eddie Matthews up. He's one for one so far. Jackson. Roams over, puts it away. And Johnny Bench up. Flew out last time. And he starts him out. Here's a fly ball to straightaway left. And that's the third out. That'll do it. Well, that's one way to keep. It's going to be Jackson now. These at bats, how's he starting them? Let's take a look. Well, when you look at what he's done so far today, Gary, I mean, what he's done is throwing first pitch strikes. And what has that done for him? Now he's got 10 guys out after going 0 1. Here's the pitch. Strike Slider two. locked him up. He's behind 0 2. Look here as we move through the middle part of this ball game right now. They just cannot mount any offense at all. No hits. And I'll tell you what, this pitcher is just shutting them down. One away. Now, K-Cam's going to show us a good look of this slider. It was not a good-looking swing on that pitch. Well, good at-bats starts with good swings, and bad at-bats end with bad swings. And I think he'd want that last swing back if he had the choice. Armin Killebrew in the box now. And the play by Jenkins. Two away. Still, no one has been able to reach base, and we're in the fifth. You know, I love watching them. This next time through the lineup, the adjustments he's making, the hitters just can't figure him out. And Yogi Berra in the box. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. And this at bat already 0-1. First pitch was a strike. Well, it's a... That one swung on, hit in the air to deep right center field. That's caught. Side is retired. Well, that's five in the books now, and he's faced the minimum number of hitters. You know, more than halfway through this game, and nobody doing anything at all against him. They can't figure him out. For those of you just coming on board, Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John Cruck, bringing you Major League Baseball on 2K Sports. And Ralph Kiner to bat. He's going to start the home oh. half of the fifth. Missed with the fastball outside, and it's even at one. Now the 1-1 one, one pitch. Missed with the fastball outside, 2-1. and one. Two, 2-1 one on the way. Good pitch off the plate that time, evens it at 2. Well, you see that pitch coming in, and it starts at the center of the plate. And all of a sudden, as soon as you start your swing, that's when that slider starts breaking away. Gets out of the strike zone away. He can't stop his swing, and swings and misses. Here's the payoff pitch. Foul ball! And it's fouled off. And on a full count. And that one's going to miss. That'll be ball four. He'll take first base. Now that base on balls doesn't help anything for this pitcher. Game. Well, you just saw a great deal of plate discipline right there on the hitter. Maybe a little fatigue. There's a swing. It's popped up. 
And that's number one. And Ozzie Smith in. How's he getting these first pitches across? Well, let's take a look. Well, what does an 0-1 count? A shot up the middle, and it's plucked off the field. And he's on board. Close play, but he beats it out. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Well, the pitcher makes a great pitch right here. Had him way out in front of this ball, but he gets just enough of a piece of it to put it in play. And with that speed, he just beats it out. Jenkins is the batter now. Boy, he needs to get this out here. You do not want to give up that big hit to the opposing pitcher, especially with that top of the order rating. Here's the pitch. And he lays one down here. He's got it now. In time for the up. Well, that's some bunt right there. Moving up the base runners. Good execution, Gary. That puts a couple in position to come across the plate. You talk about getting something done that matters. That's the case right there. Now they're looking for the big hit. And Lou Brock in the box. Oh. One for two in the ballgame. Slider just misses. One and oh. He tried to backdoor that pitch, but left it out and away. Swung on. Line to right field. That's down. Runner could come home. What a good piece of hitting right there. The pitching has been very good. Made one mistake right there, and he gets that RBI across the board to give his team some momentum. And Joe Morgan to bat. Steve, great determination by the... There's a swing and a ground ball. And Smith comes in. Well, you see the pitch down in the zone a little bit, but he got a good piece of wood on it and drives it. What you like about that at bat is the discipline to keep your head in. Well, I'll tell you what. He changed locations, went down to the zone. It's a solid piece of hitting. This one swung on and driven hard. That's caught. Side is retired. And so the game of tremendous pitching finally broken here with two runs across. Offense is finally on the board. Brooks Robinson to bat. 0 for 1 thus far. Here's the pitch. Starts him out with a fastball for a strike. You know, I know we're not supposed to say anything about no hitters, so I would never <laughs> say anything about that, Gary. But don't worry. You know, I don't think they have any hits here. And we're, you know, moving through the middle part of the ballgame. Gets the fastball by him that time, and he's in control now, 0-2. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. You're out. Slider called third strike, out number one. I'll tell you something, Steve. He keeps pitching like this. The murmurs are going to start. Well, you can hear the chatter in the stands right now. People start to recognize a lot of zeros up on that scoreboard. Right. Well, it's a luxury for the manager having a lefty coming off the bench like this guy. They go to him here, hoping it's the right move against the right-handed pitcher. Fastball in there for a called strike. Now, a moment here to look at the quality strikes this pitcher's been throwing here today. Boy. He has thrown a ton of them. Quality pitches, quality strikes. That's the kind of performance we're seeing. When you're pitching as well as he has, you got the confidence factor on your side. We've seen him stay out of the middle of the plate, and that's important. Well, their plan coming into this game to attack this lineup you're is out. really paying off right now. They can't seem to do anything with it. Down on strikes there. A nice piece of pitching work. Well, at 92 miles per hour, you can get away with some mistakes, but it would be nice to have some movement. And here's Bob Lemon. Struck out swinging last time. Here we go. Here's the first pitch. This one's grounded near third. Foul. And that's another foul ball. And that's the inning. Wow, he ends it with a strikeout, and he is perfect through six. And that's the way you want to end the inning. Send your offense in there with some momentum. And Matthews in the box. And here's a quick summary of how this guy's uh, mixing up his pitches. How's he doing? Well, so far in this one, he's gone to that curve more so than he usually does with that pitch. You know, one of the things I've been noticing, he has not been throwing the slider as much as we're used to seeing it. And it can be a tremendous weapon for him. We'll see if he leans on it more heavily later in the game because he needs to find some outs. There's a swing and a line drive. 
That one's caught. And Johnny Bencho. And Barra setting his target. Fastball misses away. 1-0. Well, that right there is a really good pitch. Just missing the outside corner. Give the batter a lot of credit, though. That is one of the toughest pitches to lay off of. That hard fastball away. In time for the up. He could make a video on how to field his position. He gets over, makes it look easy. Solid fundamentals out at first base. And Ralph Kiner to bat. He walked and later scored his last time through. Swings and misses the slider. 0-1. Well, this one here was no doubt about it. The late break on that slider. I mean, what a devastating pitch, and the hitter just couldn't catch strike up. Two. Second pitch waves at the fastball, and suddenly it's strike two. Well, with a couple strikes on him, Gary, I'm going to go right at him with the slider now. He struggles with that pitch. Hit hard to second. Boudreaux throws on to first in time to retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going in this half inning. Three up, three away. And we're through six. And it's Phil Rizzuto up. He'll start things off here in the summit. Here's the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. No runs, no hits. Deep, deep into this ballgame, Gary. And obviously he is pitching a gem of a game. Looks at a fastball in there, and it's quickly 0-2. Well, the hitter's dug himself a pretty deep hole right here. Let's see if he can battle himself out of it. Strike three, got him. Wow. One away, seventh inning. His chances keep growing. Well, they have chances. They've still got some chances to try and win this game and break up this perfect game. Here's the pitch. Strike Slider one. swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Here it comes. He's at 0-2. He watched that fastball that was in there. You're Gets up. him on strikes, and away he goes to the bench, just like everybody else. I don't know about you, Gary. I'm getting that feeling we've got a chance to see something special here today. A good break on a 90-mile-an-hour pitch. And it's LK line in the box. He bounced out his last time. Here's the first pitch. That one's drilled to short. Out throws to first in time. That's three down. Well, you're at a point right now that nobody's going to talk to him in the dugout. He got it through seven. Now he's got his sight set on two more innings. Can he get it? And here's Willie Stargell. And taking a look here, the pitch types that he's thrown today that have yielded hits. Guys, his curve has been hit two times over the course of the game. You know, with a few runs he's given up, I'm not sure that a pair of hits is really a big concern for him. He's come out of the gate strong and has definitely been in control when he's gone at the hitters. And Ozzie Smith in. He singled and later scored in his last time up. Swung on line to right center field. And in there, three for three ball game. Well, the guy that just continues to swing the bat well in this ball game. Three hits right now so far. And it comes with one out in the inning. Can it start a rally? And for, drops down a bunt. Barra. Throws the first. He's retired. That's two down. Well, if you're going to sacrifice a runner from first base, this is how you do it. You bunt it to the first baseman because he's holding the runner on. He can't give up his position. Well, Swings, lines this one back up the middle. Smith's trying for the plate. And the run is in. Well, he's having a heck of a day so far. It's his third hit of the game in this one. They just can't seem to find an answer for him. And Joe Morgan to bat. So the direction here, Steve, for this lineup to stay in charge. Right now they are. Well, they're oh. taking advantage of add-on time, and the opportunities are there. They're cashing in, adding on to this lead. You hope the pitcher's a little frustrated right here. Maybe he makes a mistake in a bad pitch, and you add to it. The pitch. And he looks at the slider in there, and it's one and two now. 
Well, you, you know, Gary, you're right. I mean, when a pitcher's in a jam like that, you have to take advantage of it. You get him a little bit flustered. He makes a mistake, capitalize on it. Let's see how flustered he is. Swing and a line at a right center. And in there, second hit for him in the ball game in his fourth plate appearance. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence, giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. And Willie McCovey up. Swung on, hit. Boudreaux. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. So they scratch across a run. Three hits and a couple left on. The National League Classics lead it. Three to nothing. And if you just joined our broadcast, great to have you on board. 2K Sports Major League Baseball. I'm Gary Thorne with Steve Phillips and John. Here's one. Hit very well deep. That's one away. Now, Gary, I'm starting to like his chances here right now. He's got great rhythm out there. Seems like he gets it out, gets right back out there, and wants to start attacking this lineup. He looks good. Harmon Killebrew in the box now. Popped out. Foul ground last time around. That's just over the outside part of the plate on one. Well, I don't know about you, Gary, but uh, when I look up the board under that H column, the hits column, I see a big goose egg there. So Hit hard on the ground to short. Smith. And he throws the first in time, out number two. Listen, whether or not he finishes this thing out, it's been an extraordinary pitching performance and something for him to be proud of. I know he wants to get there, but either way, what an effort. And Yogi Berra in the box. Last time up, flew up. 0-1 count as that started off with a strike. Now, so much has been working for this man on the mound today. Effective use. Swung and a ground ball to third. He'll throw on to first, and that'll do it for this half inning. Well, he's not, not in the most intense situation he's probably ever been. And Eddie Matthews up. He'll start things off. Bottom half, eighth inning. First pitch to him. Foul ball! And it's fouled away. Lined hard deep down the right field side. Bounces up against the wall. Well, a great job right there by the first hitter in this inning to get on base. And you know, a lot of big innings are started with that first guy getting on. And you have one or two big innings in a game. And Swing and a drive. Deep in the left field. Racing back. Warning track wall. He makes the catch. What a play. And Ralph Kiner to bat. Ground out victim last time through. Runner at first with one down. There's a swing and a ball hit high. Way back there. Goodbye. Home run. A two-run digger. The lead is five thanks to that two-run shot. And with that right-hander warming up in the bullpen here, I'm not sure quite what they're thinking. Well, with the left-handed hitter on deck, he's probably getting ready. Hot shot towards the hole. And he pulls into first base with that base hit. There's one down here. That ball was well struck. Good piece of hitting. The infield playing back. Had a little more ability to cover some ground, but he was able to get it by him. And Ozzie Smith in. He's a perfect three for three in the ballgame. Jackson. Now it's two down. Jenkins at the plate. See if he's getting balls or strikes here. Let's take a look. Well, when the hitter really has you. That one lofted in the air. It's off the wall hard. Good offensive chance here. Gary he may have surprised himself right there. Good piece of hitting by the pitcher. Hey, nothing like giving yourself a little offensive support. And Lou Brock in the box. Three for four thus far. The first pitch. Checks his swing that time, but it's still a strike on one. The pitch. Swung on. That is hit. The dive, and he's got it. And he gets the force at second. That is a tremendous defensive effort. Well, they add a couple more runs here and extend their lead even further. 
The National League Classics lead it five to nothing. Bottom three. Brooks Robinson to bat. 0 for 2 thus far. On the way. First pitch, a slider for a called strike. Now, Gary, in the ninth inning, has not given up a hit in this one, so we may be looking at some history for him personally and for his club. Good screwball, and he's behind 0-2. On the ground to second. Picked up by Morgan. Over to first for out number one. And there are two to go for perfection. He's got to be feeling the excitement and the nervousness right now, and so are the fielders behind him. Pressure on everybody out there. And Lou Boudreau to bat. This is his first at bat in this game. First pitch was a strike, 0 and 1 now. Looks like the hitter's waiting for a pitch that he can get up in the zone to drive a little bit. That's why he went down to the zone wow. of that four seamer. Ball. Tried to get him to go after that slider, but it's one and two. Trying to throw it in on the hitter's hands right here. Trying to get him to flinch and open up. He just laid off the pitch, didn't get the strike. Struck him out. We are that close. He is one out away from perfection. Hey, Gary, you can feel the energy in this crowd. It just doesn't matter who you're cheering for. Everybody knows they're witnessing baseball history being made. And here's Bob Lemon. He was a strikeout victim last time through the lineup. Now the first pitch. Lined foul, foul. towards third. The pitch. It's fouled off. Oh. And another oh. foul ball. Strike three, and there it is, a perfect game. Gary, there's not a better way to top off perfection than striking the last guy out. An absolutely phenomenal pitching performance today, and I'm sure he's going to remember this for the rest of his life. Well, they treated their hometown crowd to a phenomenal pitching performance in this one. A big win on the shoulders of their pitchers. Now we're going to award our player of the game. Well, you know, they don't call it a perfect game for nothing. This is something that this young man will remember for the rest of his life. And everyone who's here has to have a feeling that they just witnessed some sort of history. And I know never playing in one in my career, a perfect game, I'm thankful I got to see this one. And we witnessed a pitcher who has put himself in the record book, an incredible, perfect game. I mean, you see history made here with this kind of performance from this guy, an outstanding effort. And they get the win as a team as well to move forward. This is Gary Thorne with John Crook and Steve Phillips. Hope you had a great time. As good as we did, then you're all set. See you next time.